hands dirty with the combat. I wanted to do some exploration. I wanted to see what some of my skills were that were available. I will do some fighting first and then try to build up my characters a bit so you can see the difference between a character right now and a character that I start grinding with or a character that's already been built up. So you get to see a normal character before I start grazing their experience just to kind of see the difference. First things first, let's do some basic combat. I did a bit of this at the end of the last video, but let's do some more here because I've learned a bit more since then. Okay, bees. I hate bees. Okay, use a regular attack and press L2 or R2 for the special attack. Yes, there's a lot of slowdown during these sequences. I guess the game is calculating hit values. I don't know. It's kind of annoying, but it's not too bad because you aren't really dying in this game because of the slowdown that happens when you do that special attack. I should also mention that... Uh, yeah, I'll show the bonus board in a second. I should also mention that the area of effect on that special attack is extremely forgiving. You can pretty easily uh, knock out three or four enemies that aren't that close to you with that special attack. So it makes that special attack extremely useful, especially if you're about to die. By the way, I'm pressing the Y button here to sprint so that I can uh, make so that I can cover ground quickly and dash past enemies before they can see me. Which is fantastic. I'm glad they added that feature. I don't remember that being in any other Star Ocean game. Okay, let's do this. These guys are pretty easy. Press the R3 button to zoom the camera out a bit. Although it's annoying because I've noticed that when I'm wandering around in the overworld, pretty much, um, the camera is reset with the R3 button. And the problem with that is that as soon as you get back into combat, you have to press the R3 button again so that the camera stays zoomed out. It's kind of, I'll see if I can figure that out. It's kind of weird. I also need to get my bonus board back because I lost it. You might remember from my first video when I was going through the battle simulator, the game explains you get bonus tiles in the far right-hand corner of the screen. I'll show you that in a, in a second. Those tiles you see, those, that bonus board in the far right-hand side of the screen gets filled with color tiles based on certain conditions. For instance, if you defeat an enemy using only special attacks, you get a tile for that. If you defeat an enemy um, with a what is it with a critical hit, you get a tile. Things like that, and they stack, which is actually kind of amazing. And they last for multiple battles unless you take a hit, unless your leader takes a hit from a unless your leader takes a critical hit from an enemy, which is very important. Which means that if you can get a bonus tile pretty early, then all subsequent battles will benefit from that bonus tile. You know, the bonus goal, the bonus uh, attack power. Which I think is fantastic. Got him. Okay, that guy's dangerous. I don't like to hang around him very long if I can help it. That wasn't a critical hit, was it? Okay, might have been. Let me do a blindside, why not? I was trying to blindside him. Didn't work. Or whatever. I'll just do that. I'm locked on. Nice. Don't remember how I did that. Oh, I pressed the left stick. I pressed the left stick to stay locked on. And there, down they go. Okay, I've leveled up four or five. Look, get that. <laughs> Jeez, dude. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Very disconcerting. Um, I noticed that I the leveling up early in the game is actually pretty easy. You see how much experience I'm getting from these normal fights. You also get experience by gathering or harvesting items in the field. Not by opening treasure chests, I don't think. But by harvesting items out in the field. And I'll do that in a second so you'll see what I mean. Before I start harvesting, I'll level up my character. Because uh, dope. my female archer character has a harvesting skill that is going to be handy. Because you can increase your you can increase your bounty or your booty, I guess. You can increase your bounty by leveling her skill up. She has a special skill. What's it called? Harvesting. Yeah, see, we'll we'll harvest that. We'll harvest. <laughs> we'll uh, level up that harvesting skill a bit later. The individual SP and SP are items that I'm earning after every fight. So you probably saw that flash at, when I won a fight. I'll go back to that and kind of point that out a bit later. <sighs> Let's see. Oh yeah, status. Oh, you can see that from here. On the left hand, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the next. That determines how much experience I need to gain to go up another level. 
early in the game, I want to say your experience level was going up every 15 or 20 experience points, something like that. I can go back and show you my previous game saves, you want to see that. So you level up pretty quickly, because you're getting quite a few experience points through combat and through exploration, specifically by harvesting items in the field. So I'm level 5, not too... relatively quickly. Well, let's see what I can see here. Yeah, you can see the next. Don't have any I I haven't really found any items that I can equip except for the sniper's bangle. I'll show you what. Let's go back. And let me show you that sniper's bangle. Yeah, items, equip items. Not a lot of items here to equip at all. See? Uh, this stuff was default. Nothing here. I got the sniper's bangle back when the ship was crashed. So it, I think one of the soldiers gave it to me. At the time, I didn't have an archer, so I have it, but there's no, why does a, a melee fighter need a sniper's bangle? Because it's for do re -mi. Sorry, re -mi. Yeah, I should probably mention that. The game lets you rename characters by their first name. See, Edge over here has been renamed to Shaft. I thought, that Edge Ma I thought that Edge Maverick was a stupid name, so I renamed him to Shaft, which is a equally stupid name. It, but what's most notable is that you can only change the first name, not the last name. I guess you can call him McCain or something. <laughs> so McCain Maverick and uh, Sarah, whatever her name is. <laughs> so McCain and so uh, McCain and Sarah. That sounds great, huh? Anyway, uh, it, uh, not that status. Press the X button to change names. Let's say that Shaft is a stupid name. You can change them back to Edge. The problem is that you can only change the first name, not the last name. Kind of weird, huh? Maybe there's a bonus, or maybe there's a special ability that lets you rename them, rename, give them their new surname or something. I don't know. It's stupid. I understand that. I wanted to call him Shaft Blackman, but the game wouldn't let me change his last name, so that's disappointing. And Raimi, well, I couldn't find a clever name for her, so I just called her Do Raimi. Sai, Sionji. Sai. I'll come up with something later. I'll probably change their names multiple times <laughs> during this video. If nothing else, it'll help me ID, you know, content ID. It'll help me ID content thieves. You know, like, you know, like, you know how some people in high places like to steal content from other websites without giving them proper attribution? Yeah. Nice try, yo. Just saying. Don't do that. <laughs> giant, a bunch of giant bomb footage ended up on, uh, ended up on the White House, uh, YouTube page because <laughs> there was a Fallout 4 character named Reichert. So I'm like, yeah, uh, we see what's going on, guys. <laughs> Come on, don't do that. Or at least give proper credit. Maybe they did and I just didn't notice. Maybe they'll add credit to the YouTube descriptions. I don't know. That's enough political commentary. So what do I want to do next? I want to see if I can... Well, I already know, I already know how long it's going to take me to level up. So let me go back to the save point. Actually, what's my... um? Yeah, let me recharge everything. You know what's really weird about this so far that I've noticed? Uh, of course you don't know. I haven't told you yet. Uh, you haven't also haven't seen my videos. It's... I've noticed that... All the enemies you defeat disappear from this overworld map until you load the until you reload the area. So basically, all the enemies I had to defeat to get here are gone from the world map. If I go, if I leave this area, like through the caves or whatever, and then come back, or if I reload my game save, all these enemies will come back. So the game does not save the. Blank. In other words, if you defeat every enemy in the overworld, I don't think they respawn until you reload your game save or until you leave the area and come back. Which is kind of weird. I'm, I want to see if I can exploit that a bit. And I press R3 again. <laughs> and no, what's really annoying is that sometimes, you're, sometimes, you're, sometimes this character will do an uppercut when I don't want him to. I want him to do three regular punches and keep the enemies on the ground like that. I want him to do a punch. I want to do three ground attacks so that I can link my special attack with it. The problem is that sometimes he'll do an uppercut which causes the enemy to get launched into the air and I can't attack the enemy really then. Or I can, but if I do a special attack while he's in the air, I'm going to whiff on it. So I'm kind of trying to figure out why these characters seem to do moves you don't want them to do. I'll, I'll see if I can work that out. Let me go back to the uh, charge thing. So I, I want my MP and I want my MP to be recharged. My MP has ex been extremely useful early in the game because that special attack of his does so much damage and it attacks so many enemies at once, and it cancels out most enemy attacks. So it's extreme. It's it's defensive too. 
So it keeps enemies off your case, it keeps them from attacking you, it launches them to the air when he's done with the attack animation, so it's really super handy. Okay, let's explore a bit around here. I'll also show you that uh, purple exclamation point over there that's northwest of me. That shows an area where you can switch levels because there's basically there's one ele I'm on I'm on a single elevation right now. I'm on a single plane. If you go to the purple exclamation point to the west of me, that purple exclamation point is a jump up. So I can't reach that right now. Over back north of me where the uh, recharge sphere is, is a, is a purple exclamation point due north of that. That is a jump down. So if I go down there, and I'll do that at the end of this video. If I jump, if I go there, I will jump down to the level below me. And there's a boss over there. It's actually a story trigger north of here. I'm not going to do that yet. I'll finish off the video with that because I don't know if I'm strong enough. Because I tried fighting this boss when I was level one. And I did basically, I basically did no damage to him. So it was, it was a big fat waste of time. So let's go through this fight and I'll show you a few specifics. Before we do anything important, we've got a preemptive attack because we sneak, we snuck up on him from behind. Press the uh, triangle button, I get a menu. Well, what can I do here from the menu? Well, you probably saw me do this earlier, I can escape. Not gonna do that, I'm, I'm feeling my oats now. Oh, it, oh, it's a ring, okay, so you can't go up and down. Okay, so that's not so bad. Setup. Well, I don't have any other special attack, so there's really no reason to worry about that. I can't switch characters from the screen, really? Huh. I'm pressing L1 and R1, but I can't... Okay, so let's equip items. Equip skills. Okay, so I don't have a choice here. I can't switch people, that seems weird. L2 and R2? No, that's just a... L2, uh, L2 and R2 are used to page up or page down, which is kind of annoying. Okay, you can see how much... Uh, Oh, that's okay. Now I that's what the beat S thing. Okay, I'll show you the beat S thing in a second. Uh, this rising blade skill right here uses two CP, right? I don't know what that means. Two CP. I'll see what that means. But what's really important is on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see where it says MP cost. That's how many magic points I lose or mana points or whatever. That's how much I lose by wheel by using this in a fight. At the very bottom of the screen on the right hand on the left hand side, you can see my MP for this character. It's underneath the window, don't worry about it. It says 102. So if I use this thing once, I'll wipe out eight of my MP. But I can spam this pretty often where I am right now, because if I run out of MP, I can just go back to the um, recharge fear and recharge my energy. But obviously there are gonna be parts of this game where I'm not gonna be able to do that, so I'm gonna have to conserve this. But right now, since I'm grinding and, I'm, and there's, an, there's, a, there's a recharge sphere near us, then I can just spam this all I want, and after, and after the fight's over, I can just go run back there and recharge my MP for free. Works for me. One other thing. See that beat S on the top left hand corner of the screen? It says beat S CP 6 out of 10. I want to say, remember I mentioned earlier everyone has a different beat ability? Um, this beat S is a strike skill. It's an offensive style. This character gets boost based on this specific beat style, which in this case is offensive. So I get boost to HP and hit and hit power and things like that. I'll show you more of that at the end of the fight. The CP 6 slash 10, I don't know what that means. I have to go back and see what that's about. There, in the, I think in the other Star Ocean games or the Final Fantasy games, I could press select and get some more options, get some more information about that, but I have no idea. Anyway, so let's go back to that setup. I don't know if this determines when my beat level, go, experience level, goes up or not. I'm under the impression that if I use this rising blade, I will gain 2 CP, which means this beat SCP will go up from 6 to 10. We'll go up from 6 to 8 to 10. Let's try that. I'll use the rising blade at least twice in this fight. If, when I win this fight, my CP will be 10 out of 10, and, I'm, and it might go up another experience level. I don't know. So I'll find that out. It's too bad I can't switch characters. That is really annoying. Uh, yeah, because I, I was under the impression that I could switch characters from this screen. I guess you can't. Okay, so I can press. Okay, so I can press L1 or R1 to switch characters. So it's like an item ring in Secret of Mana. 
Oh, but I can't. Oh, she's in the middle. Of, oh, she's in the middle of a. She's in the middle of a move, so I probably can't see anything yet. Yeah, I can't go to her setup screen. She's in, she's in the middle of an attack. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I'll go back to that. Tactics. Freestyle. Um, both characters are doing a freestyle fight right now, so which means they can do whatever they want. You can also uh, change their tactics a bit, switch the style up, or in this case, switch the tactics up. Getting up on foes with full force, in other words, don't hold back at all, which sounds interesting, but she's an archer, so it's probably a bad idea. But for me, I can probably do that. But I'm the leader. I'm in control of this character, so it really doesn't matter what my tactics are, because I'm never going to switch. I'm not, I'm not going to switch characters right now. So I'm just going to focus on fighting as this one guy for this video. And then I'll switch to her maybe later. Uh, getting up on... Because he, he does so much damage. And remember, he's a melee fighter, so he's probably going to get... He's probably going to draw aggro on enemies. They're going to start attacking him. He's going to lose a bunch of MP. She is a ranged attacker. So she's just going to hang back and not take a bunch of damage, really. So I can be the one who scrambles around the battlefield trying to take out enemies and drawing the aggro away from her so that she can take them out from a distance. So I will be the guy who's the tank, does all the damage dealing. She will, she will perform a support role by sniping people with arrows. She won't do that much, she won't take that much damage, but she'll still help, because she'll be sniping people from a distance and she won't be getting hit. That's my logic. How about fight freestyle without using MP? Again, if I were using, a, if this, if I were using another character and I wanted to conserve that MP, then yeah, I would tell him, don't use your special attacks, just focus on your regular melee attacks, and then when I want, to, and then when I want you to use them at will, because I know, because I know we don't, I know we don't want you to hold back, then I'll tell you to fight freestyle like this. But I'm in control, so I'm just going to do however I want. Stay out of trouble? Yeah, run away from enemies, basically. You're about to die, we, want, we don't want you to get hurt, or let's just say we don't want you to use your skills. I want to do all the fighting. Something like, how about if, I, like, in other words, let's say I, we can try this in the, in the next battle. Let's turn on the bonus board so that I do all the fighting. That means I am going to get all of the bonus board skills for the party. Because there are skills you get if you're the one who does all the attacking. So basically the, the AI allies don't interfere with your, with your strategy. If your strategy is to build those bonus board tiles, Maybe I should tell my ally to do nothing while I do all the fighting. Just run away while I do all the fighting. So that I can get these bonus tiles turned on. So I'm going to try that a bit later. Oop. Excuse me, I lost my headphone there for a second. It can also tell you don't do anything, but I kind of don't want them to just sit there. I want them to kind of run away. So, worry about that later. Uh, items, well, we can use blueberries and stuff we need to heal ourselves, because none of our characters have healing abilities yet, so we're going to have to use items like this to stay alive. Tactics, I've already explained, so we'll come back to all this other stuff later. We can't switch. No symbology yet. So for this fight, let's see if I can turn on one of these bonus board tiles, with, like, by using blindside attacks, and critical. because remember, I want to get a critical attack on one of these enemies to defeat them. The best way to get a critical attack is to blindside them. So maybe that's another excuse to tell my partner to not fight them, but we'll see what happens. I can also try defeating an enemy with special attacks only, which is another reason to tell your partner to do nothing. Because maybe you want to set up a bonus board tile, so we'll set that up later. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the SP we get, the experience we get, and all that other stuff. But for now, let's do this. Okay. Can I switch? She's in the middle of a fight. Let me tell her to... Uh... Huh, I can't tell her to stay out of trouble. Which I think is weird. I could tell her to not do anything. Well, let's not get her in trouble until we're closer to a recharge point. Alright. Yeah, we'll talk about the battle trophies later. They're actually kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, there we go. I had to press R3 to reset that. Let's see, see? He did the uppercut and I whiffed on the special attack. Well, for the first few hits, anyway. That crap! How did I whiff on that uppercut? Well, that's right, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a uh, blind side. Come on, come and get... Ah! I missed. Well, there we go, that was a special attack. 
So I guess he did a critical on me. So if I had any tiles, I would have lost any unlinked tiles. Okay, here we go. Left hand side, experience, five. Well, we need like a hundred and something. So it's gonna be a while. Four, it's a gold. That's fine. Right hand side, bonus, board bonuses. Okay, I'm gonna try and set these up for future fights. Experience, full HP, okay. Don't worry about the green bonus board bonuses because they require ambushes. That's not going to happen. There are no ambushes that I've seen so far in this game. Uh, the blue tiles, I want to say, are for defeating an enemy with... A, no, actually, no. Is it the blue ones for a critical hit, I want to say? In other words, if you, get a, if you defeat an enemy with a critical hit, you'll get a blue. Uh, yellow is for, I believe... What is it? Defeating an enemy with skills only. Which basically you're using your special attacks and no regular attacks. Which can be done because I have plenty of MP. I can go back to the recharge sphere and set that up. The pink one is... Oh, I forget what that's for. I have to double check that. Uh, the battle tutorial explains that. Yeah, she got a battle trophy. Okay, I'll show you that because... I've already got your attention by, by showing that a couple of times. Let's see what happens. I want to say these stupid battle trophies are mini achievements that you get throughout the game. And eventually you unlock uh, the, the sound test and you unlock higher difficulty levels. Because I remember Star Ocean 2 had this whole feature where if you wanted to unlock the sound test, which Lord knows I wanted to do. It's my favorite soundtrack of all time. If you wanted the sound test, you had to unlock certain voices, which means characters had to say certain things in battle. But you also, I think, had to do a couple of other things. And eventually, when you got to 90%, then, yeah, you got, an, then you got a special, and you beat the game. You got 90%, and you beat the game. Then, yeah, you got a higher difficulty level. And you got the sound test. Which you might have to do in this game. But these um, battle trophies are actually kind of weird. Characters. Am I going to see that here? Not here. Collection, sorry. Battle trophies. Okay, let's look at Shad. Actually, let's look at the one we just got. Do Re Mi. She just scored this one. Land four consecutive long range attacks. Which is easy to do, because... I guess if I'm not doing anything, she can do... Basically, I think the idea is that she gets four consecutive long range attacks without taking a hit. Which seems reasonably interesting and important. Um... Have I got... I think I've gotten these already. Avoid getting... Well, this one's easy. Avoid getting a status item. That's incredibly easy for her, because she's never really in the thick of things. She's just, just kind of sniping people from a distance. Uh, land three, win without being targeted. That's actually kind of easy for her, because I'm usually the person who's drawing aggro. And if you're fighting an enemy that... If you're only fighting... If you're fighting a small mob with maybe, like, one, only one or two enemies, they'll probably end up attacking me first anyway. So this is an easy one to get for her. Survive the capacitation by a fury. Really? I guess, I guess she avoided dying at least once. It's kind of interesting. Feet an enemy using only jump attacks. How does she do that? Well, maybe well, she's an archer. She probably has different jump attacks than regular people. Uh, deal exactly. This is such a weird one. Deal exactly 111 points of damage. Why is that a trophy? Well, that's a tro That's trophies in general, right? Everyone gets a trophy. And PlayStation trophies are the worst trophies of all. Uh, defeat 100 enemies. That one's pretty easy. Attack, well, it takes a while to grind up, but you can get it during the game pretty easily. It's not, it's not that, in other words, it doesn't take a while, it doesn't take that long. You don't have to do a bunch of special stuff to set up that trophy, like some of these other ones. Like, how could you possibly deal exactly 55 points of damage? That's very specific. How's anyone supposed to get that? I'm pretty sure I haven't defeated 100 enemies. Maybe I have. This one was actually pretty easy to get because it's like, you know, this one here, number three. Attack first with special. We'll just walk up to a guy, press the L2 button. Done. How hard could that possibly be? Register 10. Yeah, that's actually pretty easy to get if you sneak up on enemies. Deal at least 100 points of damage again. That's pretty easy to get. Pull off five blinds. I guess I have done this. I think this is cumulative over the, over the course of the game, not within a single battle. There might actually be an achievement for that. We'll see what gets unlocked. 10 consecutive hits, hunt assisted. Yeah, I want to say that my archer was in between, was actually getting attacked at the time. So, like, I did a couple of hits, then my archer got knocked down. Then I laid an eight or nine hit. So basically, this is, this is something you can get if your allies are knocked down. This one's pretty easy to get if you tell everyone if everyone else is sort of incapacitated or if they're just not fighting. Defeat an enemy with a knockdown attack. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy with my special attacks. So you can see what I'm getting at here. We'll see what happens. 
Uh, weapons, well, there's nothing really to see here. What is the monster uh, area show? I'll probably go through this a bit more detail later. To fill time. This might be a one-hour video anyway, so let's be honest. Uh, it's sort of a deep dive. Defeated, analyzed. Well, how do I analyze them more? Do I have to defeat more than to analyze them more? I just don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. Well, it tells you how much experience in full you get for defeating them, so that's, that's interesting. Oh, this is the Alpha Adafega. Yeah, the big one, I think. What's this one? Isn't there a crab around here somewhere? Yeah, this thing, yeah. So I wonder what happens if you get 100% analyze. Like, how do you get how do you get the 100% analyzation, then? It might just be an OCD thing, let's be honest. Oh, they drop Aqua Berries. That's interesting. I'm going to need those to heal at some point, so... Against the boss, that'll be handy. Okay, so we've made our point here. Let's, I can sort these for some reason. But what's the other sorting order? Oh, by race. Very inappropriate. Uh, that, uh, okay, we've already established. We don't have to change any of this stuff. Uh, characters, status. Yeah, the beat thing. Yeah, see, I went up a beat level, didn't I? I'm going to have to go to the tactics. Screen, just a second. Fight freestyle. Change tactics. Okay, this isn't very helpful. But I can tell her. Let me tell you this. But here's what I want to do. Let me do the fighting and set up these bonus tiles. If I want her to join in, I'll tell. I'll switch to her and turn her on. So let's do this. Press triangle to set her as the leader. But I'm going to be the leader. I'm going to tell her to do something else. Press square. Uh, I'm going to tell her don't do anything for now. But I'll turn her on eventually. Because I'm going to want her to stay out of trouble. So I can set up these bonus tiles. Which will help us in future battles. Until I get hit by a special attack, obviously. Anyway. Uh, beat. So the problem is I can't see the experience level for this. Because I want to say I was at level 3. Do you remember, remember during the, at the beginning of the last fight, you saw the beat S ranking for this guy was 6 slash 10? Okay. So, I remember I also mentioned that you get CP for using the special attack? The skill point, yeah. This. Where is it? Not those skills. The, the battle skills have to go down then. Sorry. Battle config. Yeah, this here it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, the okay, this is the screen. Okay, I was at six slash ten earlier. So it didn't go up, or did it go up? Actually, I think my yes, I think my ranking was level three before. Let me check that. So and I want to say this was at rank three earlier, wasn't it? Because I did have a couple of special attacks. Let's see what happens. You can check out my video to see what I was before I started the fight. And then we'll see, um, we'll go back and check. Seems weird to keep jumping through all these screens just to see what the beat uh, level is. Oh, weird. Field skills. Okay, we'll level those up a bit later. Oh yeah, here's a, let me save my game before I crank this up. Because you're going to see the problem with the leveling up system in a second. Because basically this thing does 260 uh, percent damage. Basically it does it does about two and a half times the damage of a regular attack. The problem is that when you level it up, it gives you an extra 10%, which isn't that much. So if I level this up three times, it'll go up to 280 or 290, something like that, 290%, which isn't that big of an increase, really. So I might end up leveling this up again later, but there might be there are going to be other skills I'm going to want to level up instead, like this thing right here, this harvesting thing might be useful, because it says at higher skill levels, the number of items you can harvest increases. I haven't harvested anything yet, so I'll show you that in a second once I save my game. So let me run back to the uh, recharge, the recharge sphere. I've been doing a lot of talking, I understand. I've been, I've been mansplaining. But the idea is, is that I'm trying to document what I've discovered about this game as I discover it. To kind of get some idea about what my thought process was at various points of the game. It's a, it's a video diary. It's what these videos are, really. They're diaries of how I discover things about the game as I go along. By the way, this is the uh, purple exclamation point I was telling you about. 
I want to zoom out. Okay, I want to zoom out. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so that, I'll stick with that. So if I, okay, so see down there at the bottom of the screen, it says X. So if I want to jump, I can press the X button, and that'll take me down to the lower level. But once I jump down there, I can't get back up. So I'm not going to do that till the end of the video. But I got 30 minutes left here, so we'll make the most of it. So let's head back here to the save point, because I said I wanted to show you how I grind a bit. At least specifically how I increase certain experience level. Over there by the save point. There we go. Okay, so we'll save this. I got a lot of save points, but don't worry. I'm deleting some of them as I go. Because basically the only save points I need at this point in the game are the one at the very beginning and the one when we crash land. We don't even need that one, really. Nope. Okay. So let's gather something. Oh, let, let's not do that over there. These enemies respawned. Uh, something over here? Where's an enemy? Well, there's a treasure chest over there, so let's get that. Let's sneak up on this dude. Let's take him out. Let's clear out the area a bit. Okay, I told uh, what's her name to not do anything. Switch. There we go. So she's not doing anything, right? Set up. Perfect. Okay. So she's not in the middle of the attack, so I can do some stuff. Okay, she's using... Uh, check out the top left-hand corner of the screen. Beat B. That is the... I don't know what it's called, but it's the defensive skill. So she hangs back and gets bonuses to her uh, defensive skill, I believe, in her range attacks. I'll show you that a bit later. Uh, we'll see if she uses any special attacks in this video. She is currently beat rank 4. So we'll see if she goes up at the end of this fight. Attack damage to 10. MP cost 8. She, check the bottom of the screen in the center. It says her MP is 85. It's below the S level 1 uh, thing on the bottom of the screen there, so... That's how much she has to work with. So at least I was able to see that. What about her tactic? I told her to not do anything. We'll probably switch that up later. But for now, I want to do all the fighting myself so I can build up that bonus board. So I will start attacking people with my special attack. Just go hog wild, buck wild on people. Uh, so I can't really do anything else here. Press L1. What are my options here? He's rank 4, CP's at 6 slash 10, so I'll see how many experience, I'll see how many CP points I get. I don't know what these points are called, I gotta open the manual eventually. <laughs> I skimmed it earlier, I don't know what to tell you. I don't mind reading, it's just, you know, I didn't think it was important at this point in the game. I guess I'm gonna have to go back and read. See other trouble, don't. I guess I'll skim the manual during the uh, cutscene at the end of the video. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's fight. I'm just fighting words. Let's zoom out by pressing the R3 button. Outstanding! Three hit comp. See, I love the AoE attack this guy has. Whoops. Took a hit. They're attacking my girl. There we go. Okay, let me get a blind side going. Just a second. Yeah, they're attacking my girl. She's not taking much damage though, so that's pretty good. Oh, he has a right. He has a get up attack when he's knocked down. Okay, I want to do a blind side. Give me a blind side. Come on, hit me. Come on, hit me. Not with that. Hit me. Come on, hit me. Missed the blind side. Try it again. Come on. Got him. There we go. Let's finish him off. And that should get, see that critical finish right there on the right-hand side of the screen? That got me a blue tile. So that critical finish got me a blue tile. That blue tile gives me a 10% bonus for every fight that I win until my leader takes a critical hit from an enemy. So let's see if we can get a few more of these. Uh, Shaft. Shaft first with special art. So I got that battle trophy. And deal at least 100 points of damage. I got those. I thought I already had those earlier. Maybe they were just unfogged, but I didn't actually achieve them. So they, the game was telling me, this is a skill you can get, but I didn't have the star next to it. So let's go back. Let's check a few other things. Uh, let's see. Character, status. 
What's my beat level, by the way? Rank 4. So what does my CP get, then? Let me check. Tactic. Not that. How did I see... I forgot how I saw this earlier. How do I do this? Just a second. Skill boost? No, battle can fix. Yeah, 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 okay. So he's still at 6 slash 10. So here's my question. How do I get the CP then? I guess the CP just determines what skills I'm allowed to equip. And maybe that's what it does. In other words, if I had like 3 skills to choose from, how many skills am I allowed to equip? Well, I want to say that's based on my beat level. Can I turn this off? None. Yeah, see that? Oh. Okay. So that's what CP... It's a capacity. So that means that's how many chain combos I can do, so... Does that mean I can do one chain combo after the other? Well, I probably can't, because... At the, end of, at the end of the chain combo, the enemy gets launched into the air. So what's the point of doing a chain combo on a juggled enemy if it, if it won't hit him? So maybe there'll be some chains I can earn later that will let me attack an enemy that's already airborne. So now this is starting to make a little bit of sense. Okay, so I don't know how to increase my beat level then. Yeah, there are no skills I can increase here for either character. These are my special abilities. I can level these up. I'll do that in a second. I have to harvest something eventually. I'll get to that. I was holding off on harvesting because I wanted to level up before I did that. So I could, so I could exploit that whole thing. So, I don't know if it makes a difference in opening treasure chests, but it might make a difference in terms of, uh... Let's get out of here. Let's recharge everything and then come back here. So I can abuse that, uh, bonus tile system if I, if I can help it. I guess the best way to do that is to use, uh, what's-her-name. Because if she's my leader, no one's gonna attack her, right? Well, can't, can't promise that. Okay. So what else do I want to try? I want to see if I can get some more bonus tiles. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let Dore me attack right now. Nothing here to really see. Yeah, the collect the battle trophies. Yeah, so I got this trophy. So I guess I didn't save my game the last time I got this trophy. Okay, so yeah. So I got this trophy. I can save my game and register that. I don't know what I get for the what is the point of getting these trophies really? I guess it's, like I said, I guess it's just for um, achievements that count towards, you know, rewards once you complete the game, I guess. Like I said, maybe you get a higher difficulty level once you get a bunch of battle trophies at this difficulty level. But the obvious problem then becomes, why does the game gate the higher difficulty level? If this, if this game isn't hard enough, it's like Diablo 3. If this game somehow becomes not hard at all, then why can't I just play at the higher difficulty level and challenge myself? Well, if they've blocked it, then that's annoying. Okay, let me see if there's some harvesting I can do here. I'll load this a couple of times and see how it goes. Now, why would I want to continue multiple times? I guess if I wanted to save multiple, I guess if I wanted to make the same save spot multiple times, I guess. Okay, open. Natural water, which I think is a food item. See that on the left-hand side, I got experience for opening a treasure chest, and I got party experience, party SP for opening that treasure chest. Why is that important? Skills, skill points, skill boost. Let's say I want to increase Do Re Mi's harvesting skill. Top left-hand corner of the screen, individual SP, 48. That's the experience points that we got during a fight. Party SP, that's how much experience, that's how many experience points we got by doing that thing you just saw me do. So, I can use the party's pool of experience points to level this up, because I need 12. See this says right here, uh, S level, skill level 1 out of 10. The next, I can use, next 12 means I can use 12 skill points to level this up. Here's the problem, do I want to use individual SP or can I use party SP? On the top of the right-hand side of the screen, you can use the X button to use 40 to use 12 from the pool of 48 individual points for this character, or I can use 12 of the party's skill points 
the 16 skill points that the party has. The problem is that you can't split it in half. <laughs> and that's kind of annoying, actually. The idea is that you can't use... In other words, if you need... Let's say I needed 20 to level this up. Well, I can't, I can't use 16 of the party's XP, SP and 4 of the individual's XP. You can't split it up. Apparently, you have to commit to using only party SP or only individual SP. You can't split it in half, and that's really kind of weird. Um, this is already at max level, so we won't have to worry about that. I'm not going to do this, because I'm not even going to use it. I don't even remember what I got by opening that treasure chest, but let's see what happened. Let's level it up and then come back here and see what happened. So let's load the game. And then we'll level up this character. We'll level up the harvesting skill and see if I get different booty out of the chest. See the enemy's response. This is going to be a problem. Skills. Skill boost. Uh, the field skills. Okay, so do we want to use the individual or the party? Let's use the individual. She has plenty. See, check this out. Oh, really? So they both have the same amount right now. Okay, so watch this. Harvesting. 36. Okay, so she has 36 now, but he still has 48. So that works out. Okay, so do I get anything different by harvesting that thing? Let's level this up again. Okay. Now see what happened here? 30, okay, so I can't, you can't see that. All right, never mind. You didn't get a chance to see what I was gonna do earlier. Let's go back and sprint past these dudes. Last slowdown there, by the way. Open. So I got the same natural water. So it doesn't matter what my harvesting level is. I was at level three and I got the same thing. So whatever. Party SP and to experience. Let's load that again. So all the enemies will respawn, I understand. And I'll show you that other thing a bit later. I thought there was something else here that I could harvest, like blueberries. They're around here somewhere. I'll, sco I'll scope them out a bit. Where were those harvesting things? I thought there was something over here. I guess not. I'll come across it in a second. They aren't too far away. Uh, yep, everything is completely recharged. I guess I gotta clear out some enemies first. You see what's going on here, right? I'm kind of running out of time too. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I'm not gonna have a bunch of time to. I'm not gonna have a bunch of time to dilly dally. But I'll do another video anyway. It's not gonna be a problem. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought there was something here I could harvest. There. Not, okay. Where am I? Okay. So I can harvest this. Got full and experience and skill points. Okay. I'm at still at level one, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm still at level one. Skill boost. Yeah, level one. So what do I get for a level one? Harvest. Press the circle button. She will harvest. From this glowing green area. We got lemon and defense seeds. Not great, but we got experience and SP for that too. So here's the obvious question. So we got one of each. So what happens if I come back here with a leveled up character? And I'll show I'll explain a couple of things along the way. That's my documentation. Alright. Watch this. Skills, skill boost, do re me. Okay. So I'll level up the harvesting. I'm going to use... Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Use party SP. So I'll use 12 of our 13 party SP. Okay, see that? So now I need 22 points to level this up again. I can't press the square button because I don't have enough party SP. Okay, so why can't I just use one party SP and 21 individual SP so that I can level this up? Well, the game doesn't let you, sp the game doesn't let you split things up in dollars and cents like that. 
you have to have 48, you have to have 22 points in one or the other, and you have to grab them from only one source, so you can't split it between the pool, you have to pick a pool to grab those SP points from. So that's, again, so there's no, there's no splitting the SP and the party SP, and that's really annoying. Not terribly, ter not terrible, but it's kind of a weird restriction. So I'll just use the individual SP. Of course, you can see the problem here is that now you can't use the party SP for one of my other characters. So he'll have to pull from his individual pool. He will have to pull from his individual pool of SP. So again, you can't, you have to choose one pool. The two pools are exclusive and they do not mix weird so we're level three now let's see what happened let's go back over to that point we'll dash we'll sprint uh, where was it was it over here no it wasn't here it's a good place to get stuck though it was over there yeah over there so we'll work our way back around yeah, so I guess I'm trying to figure out if harvesting makes it, if I need to level up the harvesting skill right. I don't have to. I, I can hoard these skill points. So I got one of each last time. Okay, so I got more items this time. So maybe it was worth it. So now I know. Level up. So don't touch any of these harvesting points until I level up my character. Here's a question. If I save my game, do these things come back? That's something I can ask later. So we'll uh, cancel that out. So the idea is that I can save my game, harvest some items. That might be too exploitable. Then you can just keep coming back for free stuff. <laughs> the game probably won't let you do that. Okay, a couple of other things I'm going to try for the video ends. If I kill a few enemies, then go through the cave. In other words, if I kill a few enemies, they disappear from the world map. So let's, let's clear out some enemies here. Let's go over here and get rid of this stink bug. So after clearing out the sting dug, right after clearing out the sting bug, if I go through that cave and leave the air, then come back, does he come back? Let's find out. Uh, what's her name? Is not doing anything, right? Yeah, she's not doing anything. Check. Set up. Yeah, whatever. Tactics. Not yeah, don't do anything. So she's under manual control, huh? Anyway, set up. That's fine. So, what do I want? I lost my bonus tile. I thought I saved the game before I got this bonus tile. Do I lose my bonus tiles if I reload my game? That's weird. Well, I'll just get another set. No problem. Alright. Defeat an enemy with only special attack. Not too hard. There we go. Let's get an AoE attack going. Press R3 to zoom out. I had to press the right stick in to zoom out there. See, I love this. Got a great AoE. Come on, come on. R2. Oops, he hit me in the middle of that. I was expecting that. I'm trying to get a special uh, gem for destroying enemies. See, a skill only finished, see? Let's destroy these guys. See? Look at all this. See, look at all those bonus skills right there. So I got three bonus gems by uh, defeating enemies using only skills. And since my ally wasn't doing any fighting... They, she couldn't interrupt me with her regular attacks. So I did all the fighting, I used all my skills, and I wound up getting all these linked gems. So these will remain in place until an enemy does a critical hit on me, or possibly until I save and reload the game. But this is great, because it means I'm getting a HP and MP at the end of every fight. 3% at the end of every fight, it looks like. But what I really wanted was an experience Thing. What I really want is an experience boost. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's see if this thing reloads. Open. Natural war. So that's never going to change. I might as well just grab the SP while I have it. Okay, so let's go back out and then go back in. Let's just see what happens. I'm not going to do anything in this cave because I really I can't go anywhere in this cave. There are purple exclamation points all around this place, and unfortunately, they are all climb. They're all climbing. They're all climbing areas. I can't do anything here. See, the enemy came back. So leaving an area, then coming back, caused the enemy to come back. That's going to be a problem. 
Do I still have my bonus board? Let's find out in a second. I'm gonna avoid fights so I can recharge. Let me go back over there and recharge. All the enemies have respawned, of course, so. There we go, perfect. Okay, let's check out my bonus board. Let's get into a fight with this bee. Come on, he's right there. There he is, he had to, he had to dip. <laughs> Guess he was trying to sneak up on me. And he did. Okay, so, uh, what's your name's gonna take a few hits? See, my bonus board's still available. Press R3 to zoom out. Don't take a critical hit. Whatever you do, don't take a critical hit. Dash. Okay. Don't take a critical hit. So I'll dash the circle button to get out of those things. Get out of those. Pickle. There you go. R2. See, look at that skill. Look at my bonus gems I'm getting. I'm going to clean up. See, they're persistent between battles, too, so that's even better. Another skill only finish. Okay, what's your name's taking some hits? Yeah, don't worry me, he's taking some hits. I'll take care of that. I'll draw the aggro. And finish him off. See, look at all these bonus skills I got now. Oh, ambush! This is new! Okay, so I should get, um, I should get a green skill for this. Just a second. Okay, uh, let me, uh, turn her back on. Just a second. I'll turn her back on, but I'm gonna have to heal her. Can't use an item. Okay, I'm gonna need you to heal. Fight freestyle. Okay. I'll help you out if I can. Yeah, that beetle's gonna try to attack. Okay. Come on. That crap! So now I gotta conserve my SP a little bit because it's in the middle of an ambush. Look out, look out. She's drawing aggro. Got him! So I got I got a green gem for that because I won an ambush. Yep. And I... And you can't collect any experience or gold until after the ambush is complete. So I don't know how this ambush happened, but I apparently I got interrupted during a fight. Which can't happen. So I got the ambush bonus. I got the uh, green SP, which gives me... What is... Oh, I get extra experience. I get extra SP at the end of the fight. That's great. You can see the pink bonus gems that I got, because they're stacking. So I got eight of those. And I got uh, two of these yellow ones, so that means my goal's going to go up. I didn't get any experience, though. So I don't remember, how do I get the experience one again? Yeah, it's a skill finish. So I think if I defeat an enemy using only special skills, then yeah, that's how I get it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these. These are going to be handy. But it, remember, keep this in mind. If an enemy hits me with a critical attack, I'm going to lose half of my uh, pink... Half of my pink crystals, because the problem is, is, the thing is that I lose all of my unlinked bonus ones. But you can s probably see behind the, on the right hand side, there are a bunch of purple or pink crystals that are, that are linked together because they're, they're sticking to each other. So if you have a bunch of crystals that are linked like that, you only lose half of them when you get a critical hit. So that's going to be handy. So let's uh, go back and bank that. So I'll go back to the uh, recharge point. This thing is really handy. I kind of wish I could see what my bonus bar is before I go into a fight, but whatever. So my beat rank is going up a little. I just don't know how much. That's really kind of annoying. The game, it would be nice if the game told you how many points you needed to go up another beat level, but anyway. So I'm going to tell her to fight free... I, now my bonus bar is full, so I'm just going to tell her to fight freestyle now. I've built it up by fighting respawned enemies. That's going to work out in my favor, I think. Of course, I might also lose this if I save my game and reload. But we'll find out in a second if I lose all these. So we'll save that. Okay, I got enough time left to go into a fight. So this means I can... I, can, um, I don't have to level up my harvesting now because I'm not going to harvest anything. Here's the question. If I save and reload, my bonus bar is still there. Probably doesn't matter at this point. Let's just go to the next area. Let's fight the bosses to see what happens. If I get into a fight, I'll see what the bonus bar does. So the enemies do respawn if you reload a game, and they re and they respawn when you leave an area. This is a one way. This is a one way jump. Just so you know. If I want to save the character we get. Uh, but the, when, we, when we defeat the boss, it's going to allow us to uh, get back up here. So this is a one-way, this is a one-way, though. Excuse me. 
Eh, eh, okay. I'm gonna make a beeline for the guy who's hang, hang, hanging out over here. See that yellow symbol over there? That's him. I won't go over there yet, though. Let's just see what happens. Because there's a blue... I didn't notice that blue cross over there before. That's gonna take me to a new area. Yeah, let's see what happens when I go to that area. Nope, I don't have a choice. Never mind, I can't get around. It's a story trigger. Like I said, terrible cutscene. And I'm running out of time in this video, so let's just fight the boss and see what happens. We're gonna have an extra ally here, so... So these are the doll eyes I'm talking about. You know, the... Uh, Team America World Police uh, marionette-looking CGI models they got going on here. Yeah. And the, yeah, I guess the anti-aliasing on the hair isn't that good either, so that's kind of annoying. Yeah, this this lasts for some time. So we're going to skip this. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Yeah, like I said, this goes on for some time. As we ponder this development, they're startled by an unfamiliar craft, and its sole occupant approaches them in a friendly manner, but then shouts a warning, and now we're entering a battle with Armorous. It's in red, so you know it's important. So here's the boss fight. By the way, I turned down the music so I can splice in some better music later. I was kind of getting sick of the music. We'll see how it goes. All right, do this. Whoops, wrong button. I'm not doing that much damage to this guy. This is going to be a problem. I might have to do some blindside attacks on him. Yeah, this isn't doing much damage at all. Whoops. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's do a blindside on him. Yeah, I'll draw the aggro, then I'll do the blind side. Let's see what happens if we get a critical. Okay, I'm charging my rush. That's I can do rush I can do rush attacks on him too. Whoops, shouldn't do that. I'm stunned. I, I held down the circle button for too long. Whoops! Not good. Let me charge up my rush again. Okay. Whoop, oh, whoops, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that. I held it down too long. Holding down circle to charge up my rush. I'm doing it for too long. Oops. Okay, gimme. Give gimme. Give Hit me. That's a blind side. Yes! Do it! Yes! That's not very strong. Yeah, that's not very strong. I gotta charge up my rush. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a rush attack. Square. Whoops. Oh, I screwed it up! Ah, I screwed up the rush! I was, supposed to, I was supposed to do square and R2, and I screwed it up. Ah. God, and I lost my rush. Gosh darn it. Ah. Okay, let's do this again. Screwed up my rush. Not these are blueberry. Yeah, I screwed up my rush. Gosh darn it. I gotta recharge it. It'll take me forever, too. Let's draw aggro on this guy. Did he interrupt me? 32 hits. Uh-oh. Let's zoom out a bit. It's going to be annoying. Yeah, I got him in the air. Am I supposed to hit him on the ground? Is that the thing? See, I'm not doing much damage to this guy. Yeah, I'm not doing much damage to this guy at all. And I have to win this fight. I'm not supposed to die here. Is that a blind side? That's a blind side. All right. Let's do the rush. Yeah, charge it up. Okay, get him. Okay, I need my rush. I need my rush. Okay. We out the way, out the way, out the way. Circle. Okay, we got it. Square and the LB button. Mash on the X button. Okay, what next? I'm not mashing any buttons here. I'm not doing any damage to this guy. This is not going to be very helpful. I'm not doing nearly enough damage to this guy. See, I'm not doing nearly enough damage. I'm not going to win this fight. That's why I did this at the end of the video. I was worried this was going to happen. So even my rush attacks aren't going to help me out. I probably just need to level up. This is ridiculous. Am I supposed to just keep doing blind sides or something? Because I'm clearly not doing enough damage to this guy. Yeah, I think he interrupted me there. 
You're not doing anywhere nearly enough damage to this guy. See, we're not doing any damage to this dude. No, that did some damage. I have to hit him in the eye. Is that right? I'm doing a bit more damage to him, but not a lot. Whoops. I see the bigger numbers. So I need to hit him in the eye. Is that a whoops? Is that how this works? I gotta hit him in the eye? Uh, blueberries. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, there it is. That eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. So that's the big, that's the big damage I need to do. Wait, that did it! That did it! That did it! Ah, so that was the kicker. That was what I needed to do. Wow! I wasn't expecting to win that eventually. I guess I did. But the game doesn't tell you how much damage your... How much HP actually has. I was just worried I wasn't doing any real damage to him. Well, I got the, I got the bonuses. That's good. Warped Carapace. Probably some ammo. Probably an armor. Wow! Uh, that was a pretty good finish. He's our MVP. So the new guy's our MVP. I'll take it. I was expecting to win that. It all worked out. Wait, what? So I guess we'll end the video with a cutscene. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, maybe it's safe. I don't know. Maybe it's poisonous. Is it safe? Yeah, I'll just touch it and find out. <laughs> I mean, right? Maybe it's a space virus carrier. Hmm. Oh, it's not a dude. <laughs> well, actually, it might well. I mean, undetermined gender. <laughs> no need to assume, right? I wasn't paying. I guess I. I guess I wasn't paying attention to the voices. I have the voices turned down, so I can't hear what he's saying. <laughs> Which is probably just as well. He's rocking those earrings, though. I gotta give him some credit. Again, it's the doll eye look. I mean, it just doesn't work on these characters. Just, especially with this art style, it just does not work at all. It's like a cross between motion capture and ventriloquism. Not really wild about that. I'm not going to be able to last. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sit through this. <laughs> so, um, when we return to Star Ocean, we'll finish whatever we were just doing. We'll try and get back to a save point. Maybe this guy will help us climb some cliffs. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to skip this. <laughs> I got to listen to this. Star Ocean never really had a good story ever, did it? I don't think any... Maybe the first game did, but I never played it. So, uh, does this mean I can climb back up that cliff? I recruited a new party member and got a meteor fragment. We'll have to equip that stuff in a second. Just a second. Uh, I gotta get back to a safe point, though. That'd be nice. Uh, da, 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 equip. Who needs it? Let's assume we all need We'll switch later if we have to. Optimum? Nope. Optimum? Nope. Optimum. Didn't I just get something? I'm not, is, there, is there something? Did I pick up something that no one else could equip? Yeah, no one else can equip this. That stinks. Well, what's this? Uh, this. No, I can't use that. It's a story specific. Recipes. I gotta show. I gotta go back to the ship and show that to what's her name. I don't think. I don't think it's working yet. I think it's still deactivated. So it hasn't been unlocked yet. Didn't I just get something? Some kind of special item or something? Let's just assume that I did. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get back up. Well, can I get back up? Is the question. Yeah, let's not go in that cave yet. Let's get, let get back up. Because I know how to get down. The question is, do I know how to get back up? Get up. Ah! Look out for the crab. Crap. 
Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm stuck in a fight and I can't run away. Up here. Darn it. It's a one way. Gosh darn it. There better be a save point on the other side because I can't climb this. Gah. It's a one way. It's going to be a one way. Now I'm just mad. So, now I know. It's a one way. I have to go through that cave no matter what. It's a good thing I leveled up as much as I did, otherwise I would have been in real trouble. Of course, I also wouldn't have been able to beat that boss anyway, so. <laughs> kind of a weird design feature. At least there was a save point back there in case I needed to do something. Ah, ah, ah. Not fighting right now. So this is a good one hour chunk of video, kids. There better be a save spot here. I don't think there's a one-way tunnel. Okay, let me, let me just bum rush through this place to get to the safe spot on the other side of the cave. Yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump down. Yes, I made it. Okay. All right, so now I have to go up and around. So, yeah. Okay, stupid. So I'm going to have to escape from every fight from here on in. So I'm trying to save. North, right? Yeah, I go north. Okay. Ah, ah. See ya. Okay, I gotta go left. So I gotta go, yeah, left. So east. Excuse me, west. Okay, dash past him. I can't grab those yet, I don't think. I'll find out later. Darn it. I'm gonna have to escape from this. Which is fine. Yeah, I'll just escape. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll fight these guys later. I'm strong enough. I'm just gonna... I'm just trying to save my game. I'm out. Ah! See, I lost half... I lost my other gems. I was trying to save anyway, you know. I don't think I lose those by actually running away, do I? I guess the game registered a hit before I could leave the battle. Why is that annoying? Okay, let's go to the save spot. Down here. There we go. Wrong button. Well, other button should work. 